Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the best or worst thing I've actually done, but I've made this kind of Dalgona ice cream from whipping my Dalgona coffee and then adding a mixture of whipping cream. I used a soy whipping cream, so I feel like it's quite crumbly. And I think it'd be a good idea to add condensed milk to give it that smoothness. But I'm gonna try to make like those Tim Hortons ice caps by having this ice cream. It's not really even ice cream, it's just iced Dalgona. And I'm gonna add some milk. And I'm hoping if I stir it up, it's gonna be just like an, a Tim Hortons ice cap. If you know Tim Hortons ice caps, let me know. Okay, this could possibly be like the best or the worst thing I've ever created. Super high calorie, but then again, Tim Hortons ice caps have never claimed to be low calorie. And uh, I'm at the stage of quarantine where just a regular Dalgona coffee isn't cutting it and I wanted to be creative and just ruin my diet even more. It tastes like an ice cap. I think maybe if you used a different kind of milk. I don't know, because I used a soy whipping cream and I put soy milk in it. So obviously if you tried it yourself, the outcome might be different. Damn, that's good. And that's going straight to my thighs. Okay, so I'm sitting down. I got some work done, so I'm gonna take a little break from that. But I finally got something from Amazon that I had been waiting for. A couple of weeks ago, I know that Jen or Layers of Jen as well as Taylor, The Real Taylor B, and Sam, Sam McCoy. They were all kind of sharing their emergency packs on Instagram. So me and my girl Taylor B are going through our emergency kits just to make sure that everything is up to date because there have been a few uh, alerts recently for earthquakes so I want to show you my earthquake kit I guess. First we and after talking to Boyo, I realized that we don't have one. I actually did have one when I was living in Kochi, but after leaving Kochi, I sold my emergency pack to my successor because I figured that she would need it more than I would because Kochi is kind of on the fault line of the Nankai Trough, which is a tectonic plate where there's the potential for a mega quake. And because Kochi is so close to it, to be honest, it's kind of a dangerous area to be. So I had like a helmet, I even had a crowbar in case after the earthquake, if the doorway at all became tilted, it would make the door difficult to open. I just had a backpack with everything. But after seeing everyone's posts on Instagram with their emergency kits, I decided to go on Amazon and a lot of them were already sold out because there had been rumors going around that there might be a mega quake soon, which made me a little bit nervous. So I got this on Amazon. I will link it down below. This is supposed to be for one person, but it comes with 30 different items inside. Obviously I haven't opened it up yet, but it's a backpack and this one wasn't incredibly expensive. On Amazon, you can find ones that are over 10,000 yen or even over 20,000 yen, but they'll have basically everything you ever need. This one I got, I believe for around, maybe just over 4,000 yen. In my opinion, it's better than nothing. I think it's probably, an emergency kit. Just let's see. Let's open this up. Just another 20 minutes of me struggling. Okay. It is pretty small, but it's got a nice structure to it. And then this has the list and probably a QR code linking you to the website. The first of the 30 items is the backpack itself, which dimensions are 43 centimeters in length by 32 centimeters in width with a 16 centimeter depth. A battery powered flashlight, batteries are not included. An emergency whistle, a rain poncho, which is compact enough to fit into your pocket. Emergency indoor slippers, aluminum sheet to keep in heat or keep cool. They also noted it's good for blocking people's view when you have to change clothes. An aluminum blanket, an inflatable pillow, three masks, tissues, three portable toilets for <clears throat> things we all do, three 45 liter plastic bags, a pair of rubber gloves, a netted bag to keep extra undergarments, tape, a two-way screwdriver, an X-Acto knife, a medicine case, 
a money bag for coins and cash so that you have change for vending machine, a personal data and memo file to keep copies of your Zydeo card, passport, etc. for an emergency, an emergency water pack, three paper plates, five plastic cups, five pairs of disposable chopsticks, a spoon and fork set, plastic wrap, aluminum foil, a body towel, three toothbrushes, and 20 Q-tips. I don't know, some of the things that you could probably easily just get from your local hyakkin or your like dollar store or the hyakuen shop or 100 yen store. So I bought this backpack for 3,851 yen and it came with free delivery. But if you were to go to a 100 yen shop, you could probably get all these things for 3,300 yen if everything was 100 yen. But I am doubtful. If you wanted to get the backpack with everything all assembled for you, then this is probably the easier way to go. Let's see if there's anything in this front pocket. Maybe not. Okay, so the front pocket is empty. So I guess you can put whatever you like, maybe food or calorie mates. Oh, there's even some shoes, right? Because when there's an earthquake, sometimes uh, the windows will break and the glass will be on the ground. So they recommend that you have like shoes like this. And there's some gloves that are tucked in there as well. Plastic cups, tissues. Looks like another pack here with some paper plates, a body towel, the toothbrushes in there. A Ziploc bag, there's the aluminum foil, plastic wrap, a container for water. All right, so I'm gonna pack all this stuff back in there. So I suppose that an important thing to remember is to put batteries in here. I would probably add some stuff like feminine products. So if you're living in Japan and you're interested in just a small pack like this, just to kind of get you started and then you can maybe add stuff to it, I will link this down in the description box below. And I'm gonna put this, my emergency water. So I bought um, a few liters of this emergency water. It was really cheap, only 91 yen per two liters. And I'm just gonna keep this in this corner here so it's easy to grab. I noticed that it doesn't come with a radio. And I think a radio is important to have because it's a way to get information, especially when you know your phone's gonna run out of power and there might not be electricity and you have to have a way to get information. So if I do go to my 100 yen shop, I might pick up like uh, a small portable radio, batteries, and anything that I might add. Taking a break for lunch and I'm having like a taco. It's actually a fajita wrap, but I decided to put it on the stove like they do for the crunch wraps. So yummy. So I'm finished lunch and I'm just going to spend some time digesting it because tacos, as delicious as they are, they can hit kind of heavy on me. So if you don't know the application time hop, it's an application that shows you. All right, I have to go back home now. It is freaking hot. Um, I was wrong on my Instagram. I said that it was like perfect weather, but if you're out there long enough, it's pretty hot. I did get some stuff for boxes. Always check the JP Post. I went to my post office, but it was actually closed, but they had the front area open. So despite being out of a state of emergency, it seems that they're still limiting hours in some places, maybe until May 31st, because it was already decided before they decided to lift the ban. I need to clean, I need to organize, I need to maybe do a little bit of editing because I haven't really, I took a long break because I don't really do much, especially with self-isolation. It's not like I have a lot to edit anyway, so. I really hope that you guys are enjoying any of the content that I put out, even if it's just like cleaning. Cause some people like to watch that stuff. Like I like to watch that stuff. I like to watch people cleaning and organizing. It's like that kind of satisfying, especially when you see before and after. Making salad, what do you think? A salad is important, fresh vegetable and scallop and there's rice cooked already. I was thirstier than I thought. Mm -hmm. Just quench my thirst. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's leaking. 
Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. Back, back, Karyana, back, Karyana moment. Oh, it's so fishy. Are you recording? I can do that too, see? It's not big, Mike. Is it really one kilo? No, boy. No, I... right? <laughs> what, was it a joke? Yeah. Was it a joke? Did I get... So you didn't defrost one kilo? No. Why did you tell me lie? I didn't say anything. Why did you lie to me? You said, did you defrost a kilo? And I said, damn it. Yeah, I was kind of shocked if you really defrost one kilo because <laughs> you normally defrost only the, the amount you need. Yeah. That went by so quick I didn't even record it. Dinner. And then I think someone's going to relax with some new games and I'll just do some editing, I think. I thought you were going to play the other one. You're doing the racing one? I'll play that. Alright guys, I'm now just ready for bed. So I think I'm going to end it here. That's going to be it to this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on my different social media platforms. I'm really active on Instagram. And I do use Twitter and TikTok, but mostly as a consumer instead of a creator. Let's not forget. We'll see you in the next one. Oyasumi!